Well, I want to stay and get the history here. Um, there's a bunch of stuff to look at on this side. That's why that bridge was there. But the guy told me, don't leave your bike. He said, they will steal it. So I'm going to get back across that bridge. I just wanted to see. She can kind of look, man, if I was hiking, we'd go all through here and see what's here. But I'm going to get back across that bridge. I don't want my bike to get stolen. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, so here we are at the end of the trail. And uh, I did the whole thing. And boy, I've met, a, met some really great people along the way. Just wanted to show you the river. These guys over here just didn't want to get their faces in the video, but uh, we're talking about this is an old southern mansion right up here on the hill. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive across that bridge right over here, and we're gonna go up there. But that's private property, so of course I can't go on the on the property. But he said there might be some historic markers up there that we can read, and there's a monument back here. Now evidently there was a big battle here in the Civil War, the Battle of Kingsport, and uh, the the he said the. Um, the, the north crossed the uh, river about, oh, you know, four miles up that way. And they came in behind the southern troops, I guess, who were uh, camped down in here. And, uh, boy, a lot of cannon fodder. Uh, one guy told me they were uh, fishing cannonballs out of the uh, out of the river here uh, for, you know, just a historical, uh, uh, I think it might have been a college expedition uh, documenting the, the Battle of Kingsford. But it must have been a big battle here that took place. So we're gonna go look at that monument and uh, get across to that house there. And then I gotta make my way back and see what's going on with my car. I'm, I guess I'm in Kingsport another day. Now he, one guy did say there's this Warriors Path uh, campground. I might check that out. He said there's a lot of trails there. And so, you know, all trips take a detour. I don't know if we're gonna get up into the, the mountains, but I'll stay here in Kingsport if that's a nice park. He says mountain bike trails and everything. By the way, that same guy, he said he rode his bike across that 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 wobbly ass bridge. <laughs> he said, you shouldn't left your bike behind. You should just rode it across. I said, oh, hell no. Can you imagine riding a bike across that thing? Oh my God. They make them different down here in Tennessee. I'm gonna tell you what, they're a lot braver than I am. Let's get going. So this is it. This is the monument they were talking about that nobody's torn down yet. Uh, it says Battle of Kingsport on December 13th, 1864, approximately 300 Confederate cavalrymen from the 2nd Kentucky Cav under Colonel R. Morgan delayed the advancing 5,500 Union Cavalry under General Stoneman in route. Now, I'd never heard of Stoneman in route. So see, the whole side of the war over here, I mean, that war just raged all across this country. Uh, Saltville, Virginia, this monument is dedicated to those brave Confederates. Ooh, boy, don't let Black Lives Matter see that. They'll tear this down in a heart, heartbeat. So let's, uh, let's look at this side, placed by, uh, John Singleton Mosby, sons of, sons of the Confederate veterans in April 26, 1986. Wow, so, and there's the Confederate uh, flag. Kinda cool, I love history, love history. All right, we're gonna go across to that house here in a minute. So this was cool. I just happened to look left and uh, you know, I was getting ready to go over to that building and they got this little uh, wooden trail coming up to the road and uh, they said, walk your bike. I, I, they'll have to just arrest me. I just rode my bike up it. I, I don't see why you would walk your bike, but this continues on. And so we're heading over to there. So we came up and got behind that house I was showing you. Man, there is some money here in Tennessee. Wow, look at that. I'm in back in a, the hoity toity neighborhood here. And uh, you can kind of see, I bet these are half million, million dollar houses. You know, I'm just kind of, looking looking around we're not going to go any further it goes way downhill i don't i don't feel like pedaling back up that plus i got to be getting back and find out what's going on with my car now the house that i was trying to see if there was a monument to was that mansion but I, like i said it's private property you can kind of see it back through there and uh that's about the best there's a there's an entrance way i'll show you that and i did want to well, when i get back across the bridge we'll get a nice view of the river and that'll that might be it for today anyway we'll see that's kind of a nice touch, you know. This uh, this little thing here just goes underneath the bridge and then comes up right over there. And then you got this little walkway across where I guess it used to be the old bridge and they probably built this new bridge. But, you know, you kind of see, you know, where who would it be for? I mean, there's a, a little uh, sidewalk over there, but the sidewalk ends right there. I guess maybe just for the people in this neighborhood to come out and do a walk. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna go across right here because I've already been around that and there wasn't necessarily anything to see. We'll, we'll get a view of the river over here. Let's let's go. So here's a view of the river from the bridge. And see, that's that little 
walkway that I came up I was telling you about and here's the guys well a couple guys fishing and they, they came up right over here and that's where I'm gonna go down I'm not gonna go back around that and then this is one last view of the uh, that mansion I was telling you about man oh man talk about a lot of grass to cut I'd, I'd let some of that just grow in to be trees but uh, just the money to maintain that let's zoom it in a little bit I can't imagine I said he was a doctor, I suppose. He must be, he must be a, a powerful surgeon with some rich clients. And uh, there's just kind of a view off in the distance across the bridge there. All right. So this is my view that I'm enjoying while I'm gonna have a bowl of soup at that restaurant I showed you. I don't wanna get any people in the, in the picture. And I love this menu, fried everything. Fried everything, here we go. Note to self, Backbone Rock camping area. And the Apple, Appleton, no. Damascus, Virginia. And then Abington has the Abington has the bike trail. Virginia Creeper Trail. The Virginia Creeper Trail. We'll hit that on the way back, way back next time through Virginia. All right. So anyway, I didn't get to finish. Uh, he was coming back. Here, let me swing the phone around. He was uh, coming back, and so fried gator bites. I've never seen that. <laughs> fried green beans, fried zucchini. It was, it was cool. But anyway, just uh, hope y'all are jealous. Here you go. Let me show you that one more time. And my wife will kill me because I always fuss at her about getting getting a big old toll. But that blue moon is 575. That's not a bad price. And uh, I was fussing at her. I said, man, can't you just wait till we get home and have a beer? I'm going to have one today. Seems like I'm never done filming. I pulled up here because I thought this was pretty neat. You got this island right out here that the water's breaking around. And then you swing around and you see this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, boy, they got the, the flowers and everything, the, the landscaping with the rock. And then, of course, the greenhouse right up here and the flower garden back there but imagine that view from these two houses right out into that that water there and check it out there's a bird see him i wish i could have zoomed in on him we could get over here i think that's a hawk dang on it he disappeared behind a tree there anyway get a little closer look at this house wow and we're heading on down there all right oh there he is dang on it missed him again he's kind of just hovering behind the tree there all right, well, maybe he, he's, he's coming around. He's coming around. Here he comes. Here he comes. Wow. Zoom in on him. Did I get him? Did I get him? No, I didn't. All right, that's enough. So I didn't get this on the way out. So on the way back, I thought, and I said, well, you know, I'll let you read that for yourself. I the video is getting pretty long. But all it says basically is these boats, this is a model of a boat that used to travel this river and carry all kinds of cargo. And you could pause on that sign and, and read it. And then we're gonna go over here. And so this is, talks about Daniel Boone. And man, I, I gotta see what this has to say. I haven't seen it yet. Getting over here. The Daniel Boone Wilderness Trail. In March, 1775, Daniel Boone and a group of axemen met nearby the Holden River and began blazing the trail through 200 miles of forested terrain to the Cumberland Gap. Wow, I've been through the Cumberland Gap. Beautiful country up there. It's in Kentucky. I'll, I'll let you read the last. Here's the Netherland Inn. 1818, served travelers on the Great Sage Road. Frequent guests include President Andrew Jackson. Well, he was a crazy guy. And, uh, well, there's the Daniel Boone cabin. Uh, it was moved here from its original location besides in Duffville, Virginia. It serves as a symbolic starting point for the trail. Man, you know, that's the way people lived back then. They, kind of, they, they, they were tough people, man. No, nothing on the back. All right, so we're gonna continue on down the trail. So this is kind of where I messed up on the way in. Okay, that's just kind of heading back into that neighborhood. And this is where I just came down. This is part of the trail. And uh, so right here is kind of both going up into the downtown. And I bet that's where I missed a sign that uh, brought me down in here. So we're gonna continue on, and I have a feeling this is just gonna guide me right back to where we got into the neighborhood, so see you soon. So here's something you don't see much anymore. I 
that's a kind of a unique car wash free vacuum with wash and uh look at all the vacuum cleaners you know and uh you know that's uh back in the day you know these were around but uh you don't see them much anymore anyway that's where we went wrong before i came down right there now you see the trails going on this way so we're going to figure out where we went wrong um man i am fat and happy now i'm telling you and uh you know, I'm having a hard time. You know, I've got a bit of a southern accent, but here in Tennessee, <laughs> some of them lay it on pretty thick, and I'm having, you know, I'm, I, I hate it. I have to ask them to repeat themselves a couple times. But uh, let's continue on. We'll get get on the journey. All right, so this is where I messed up. So here's the press building, and I was coming down this way, and I did not see that little sign now, right up there. This says Kingsport Greenbelt way over here on the right. I went straight up that way and that's how we got got off the trail because I thought I was just going to be going on the bike route by the by the road here. Uh, Town Park Lofts and of course the visitor center is right up there you know ways. So anyway but that's uh that's the sign I missed that little sign way up there high on the pole. You know, maybe <laughs> at Kingsport, you might want to put for stupid people like me, you know, something down a, a little lower or up maybe on that telephone pole right there to just say, you know, trail that way. That's the way you go. All right, so we figured out where it we went wrong and uh, we'll just get on back now. Well, it's 3.30. I've been out riding the bike now for, well, that's four and four and a half hours. <laughs> of course, I did have a nice bowl of uh, clam chowder there at the restaurant and you know i've been stopping a lot making videos but uh i'm just screwed screwed on the trip at this point um you know i got three three possibilities uh i was hoping well i was hoping to get up there and get camped today and now, now you just you no way you can go up on a friday in, into the, the um, national forest because uh, it's just going to be so crowded so many cars on the road and you don't know if you're going to get a spot in those campgrounds and you know, man, you wouldn't want to get up there and just realize you can't camp. And um, so I thought about, well, maybe just get as far down towards Talladega because that's my next stop. Uh, but once again, I'm going to be getting there on the weekend. Now, there's another place up the road here called Warriors, Warriors Campground or Warriors State Park, I think. And they said there's a lot of trails there. And uh, but once again, it's getting so late, I'm not even sure I can go there and set up camp. So I think I'm going to be in a hotel room. And man, I tell you, I've, I've been gone since the day after Labor Day, I, I miss my house, I miss my dog, I miss my wife. And, you know, I, yeah, I love these adventures, but uh, I feel like I've, I've been to Iraq and back, you know. <laughs> I just want to go home. Oh, take me home. All right, so I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'm still waiting, you know, they haven't called. I did call it. Oh, man, did I get lucky? Did I get lucky? Um, the uh, transmission sensor was bad. Now, the last time uh, with my maybe it's these uh, um, Korean vehicles that might be a problem because my Hyundai Sonata had the same problem. They had to drain the transmission and the sensor was down in the bottom and that was a $600 repair. So I don't know what this bill is going to be. Um, you know, got to pay it. What are you going to do? And um, so they're waiting on parts. That's, you know, you'd think Kia dealer, they'd have Kia parts, but you know, who knows? So uh, I guess there's another whole portion of the trail. That's why I stopped here because I was going to cut up and go up to the dealer. But uh, if I keep going that way, we'll hit a portion of the trail that I haven't done. And, you know, might as well keep going. Now, here's a little lesson for you. Um, you know, I had this bike the whole time I was here. I uh, just didn't get it out too much. Uh, you know, but look at this. I mean, so if you're, if you're traveling, I mean, it's nice to have some stuff along so that if you do hit a bump in the road, you've got some alternatives. You know, I, I wouldn't have got to spend, I mean, beautiful weather today. I got lucky as hell on that. So anyway, I just, I'll just keep doing the trail. I don't know what time the dealer closes. So it'd be hell to be out on the trail and, the, and nobody's at the dealer. <laughs> I guess I, I can find a hotel around here somewhere, you know, but uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the other side of the trail. If I, if I get there before they call. All right, man, I am just stopping to stop. <laughs> I've never ridden my bike for five hours with no bicycle pants. I got no padding. I'm not gonna be able to sit down in the damn car. But uh, I'm off of some main road here and uh, just getting a view from a little bridge. It's coming across, there's a little area over here. It looks like probably the parking area is back in there. And I uh, wanted to show you this side, isn't it? 
kind of kind of neat and the trail just kind of goes on down that way uh, I did have to show you this <laughs> I don't know you know you see things we got here whoever Dana Herringer Her Her Herbinger is she's got a fan in this guy I think he's got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten signs in his yard for, for advertising her and she's Tennessee tough is what it says on the signs all right so let's keep on going well, the trail went up on top of a hill and then they called me and uh, I got to get back to the dealer. But uh, we're going to try to do a little uh, one hand GoPro action here. Just show you some of the trail that uh, it really was getting pretty up there on the top of that hill. And I hate to catch this guy. We'll just kind of move it, move it around him. So here comes somebody. There he goes. All righty. So, so I let them move on. But I like this this portion of the trail. I thought it was real pretty. Uh, you know, it does give you the feel of being back in the forest. Uh, you know, the road's not too far away. There they are in front of me. But uh, we're just gonna cruise along here for a minute. Enjoy the enjoy the look. Here's the stream over here. Just kind of try to get the trail in there a little bit. Man, I told you that transmission sensor was gonna be expensive. Twelve hundred dollars, and they're not gonna be finished. In, seven hours of labor guy these kias and the hondas man if you're buying those vehicles those transmission sensors and i don't know if they've corrected this problem but that probably should have been a recall in my opinion because this is the second one i've had to do in a korean vehicle now i don't know if they're using the same company probably for parts you know to put in their vehicles but uh anyway that'll, that'll be all for now i think we got plenty of video on this trail I would have gotten some up at the top of the hill, but I was still chewing on the fact of $1,200. Talk to you later. So this is kind of unique, but I don't understand it at all. Now you're coming up and you got the trail going this way. Oops. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. There we go. You got the trail going that way. And then this goes this way. Anyway, I don't really understand that. I almost killed myself <laughs> stopping the bike to fix the doggone phone. I'm a video idiot. Pull up here and get a deer photo. Check them out. Oops. Just trying to zoom in. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? They're just checking me out. Well, what the heck's that guy doing back there? I don't know. Well, let's ignore him, man. We'll go on about our business. Goodbye.